Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you today? You are checking out my daily Facebook update for Philly Funk Radio today. Of course, a little update on the COVID-19 coronavirus thing. We also had some new PSAs from the Ad Council, as well as a music video. We're actually going to play a music video here today on this daily news update. Yes. All right. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I am Mr. Philly Funk Radio, a.k.a. Jerry. Jerry Wilson and I am right here live this morning and I am here to bring you an update I'm trying to make sure I'm not echoing okay so if anybody's out there watching right now uh good morning thank you for uh thank you for watching thank you for listening right here on Philly Funk Radio and I actually have to switch this over on the station so there we go all right. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. You are checking out the daily update right here on Philly Funk Radio, as well as live on my Facebook page. Um, the Facebook page you could visit is for me, Jerry Wilson. If you go, you see a little cartoon uh, picture of me. You can send me a request if you're not already on my Facebook, and you can watch. You can also view this on the YouTube page for Power WVSR. So if you go to YouTube and look up Power WVSR, you'll see the logo and I am broadcasting video live there right now. So this is gonna be brief. So I just wanted to uh, give you uh, some totals here today because you know we're still dealing with this whole uh, coronavirus thing. So right now, in the United States, these are statistics I actually pulled from yesterday. If I'm actually reading the right sheet, which of course I'm not on the right one. And now that I'm on the air, I can't find it. Oh, there we go. So check out these statistics. This is from um, the World Health Organization from yesterday. So, so far, as of yesterday, now this has probably grown a lot since yesterday. But as of yesterday, there were over 163,199 uh, confirmed cases of coronavirus, of which 22,559 of those were new. There were a total of 2,850 deaths, and of those deaths, 452 were new. So this thing is actually going around spreading, and it is killing people, but... If you look at the amount of people that were actually tested as opposed to the people that were confirmed and the amount of people that um, were actually fatalities, is kind of low. That's not to take it lightly, but uh, the media, a lot of times, they'll pump up the deaths and they won't like actually mention or barely mention exactly how many people got the coronavirus and actually lived or they're recovering or so forth right now the numbers here for pennsylvania actually with um philadelphia actually having the highest with philadelphia sorry with philadelphia actually having the highest in the uh, state with um fourth uh, with five thousand eight hundred and five is that from the state or is this from the city no, this is the state. Excuse me. The state had 5,805 cases with a total of 74 deaths, whereas the city of Philadelphia, check this out. We have the most confirmed cases over here with 1,478. We had 10 deaths with the second highest county in Pennsylvania being Montgomery County with 649 confirmed cases and eight deaths. So, you know, and this is, I guess, people really not following they stay at home order. I know yesterday when I was coming back home from work, I had to take a detour because 72nd and Pasco Avenue was blocked off. There were two incidents yesterday, back to back yesterday, and I don't know if they were related to each other or if it's just, you know, but it illustrates how some people aren't, you know, and like I said before, for the most part, people are following in social distancing orders. But yesterday, apparently there was a... Uh, 
car slammed into a tractor trailer on 72nd and Pasco, and then subsequently within the same time frame there was actually a shooting on 72nd and pasco so i don't know if the two are related or if it's just like if it's just madness going on out here or what but um yeah wow so yeah other stuff is still continuing amidst this other stuff so anyway those were the statistics so like they said if you can stay in and you know, if you start having, if you think you start having symptoms, call a doctor. Call your doctor. I actually um, thought, and I can't get into complete details. I thought that I may have had a possible exposure, so I had uh, got in contact with my uh, physician and um, uh, talked to them, and they basically uh, explained the situation, explained the issue, and they said that there was really nothing to worry about however they did say that if for whatever reason i started to develop any symptoms then i would need to do the whole process of getting tested in a quarantine but as of right now i i don't need to do it obviously you know there's nothing going on with me as far as sickness and it was um if there were any type of exposure it would have been what's called it like a almost like a third fourth party exposure where it just would have been like it's almost impossible but you never know and that's why you know they say if you think it can't hurt to reach out you know and actually talk to but they always say if you think there's something going on always call don't just go don't just go because the offices right now are over flooded and you know the medical staff needs those resources to actually divert in the actual cases and the treatment of people that are getting this so you know call the office um, and a lot of these good medical providers you know the major ones like Penn Temple uh, Jefferson and so forth, they actually have where you could communicate with your um, care team, as they call it, through uh, mail, through their system, and they'll get back to you. So, you know, I, I use University of Pennsylvania, which is where a lot of those cases are going. So, um, you know, that staff over there, the great staff over at the University of Pennsylvania, they're very, very, very busy, but they will take the time and actually reach back out to you if you think for whatever reason that you may have had some type of exposure. So anyway, um, the other thing was we, um, that I said yesterday, the advertising council, which basically produces public service announcements, they had sent me some material and I was going to play the material yesterday, but they sent it to me in a format that I, for some strange reason, couldn't play it. And so I was doing a little bit of research and I think I actually got a transfer where I could play it today. So I'm going to play a couple of them uh, for you in the near future. So um, sit back and sit back and bear with me as I try to load this stuff because this is like wow you know so anyway if you are on Facebook right now or you're not on Facebook or you listen on the radio station again you can reach us through social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter at Philly Funk Radio Facebook Instagram and Twitter at Philly Funk Radio if you are an artist or you have some type of podcast or show that you would like aired right here on Philly Funk Radio. By all means, you can email station at Philly Funk Radio, station at Philly Funk Radio. That actually is how you get in contact with us. Station at Philly Funk Radio, station at Philly Funk Radio. So, like I said, we do have, um, so like I said, we do have some public service announcements that we're going to broadcast and this one that I'm going to put on right now is actually from the U.S. Surgeon General and he's speaking about your exposure risk uh, for the COVID-19 or coronavirus so check this one out right here on Philly Funk Radio right with coronavirus still spreading people at higher risk must take extra precautions you're at higher risk if you are over 65 or if you have any serious underlying medical conditions like heart disease, chronic lung disease, diabetes, or if your immune system is compromised for any reason. If you're at higher risk, wash your hands frequently with soap and water for 20 seconds. Avoid touching your face. Disinfect frequently touched objects. And wash up after being in public spaces. 
And when it comes to social situations, less is better. Stay six feet or two arm lengths away from other people. Better still, stay home if you can. If you're sick, please stay home and away from others. And if you think you've been exposed to the virus, call your healthcare provider before going to their office. In challenging times, the choices you make are critical. Please visit coronavirus.gov for more information. All right. So, okay. So that was the the one public service announcement from the Surgeon General, you know, about the risk, the exposure risk right here. So we got a couple of them. Um, we got an interesting one too. Now, this is kind of weird. No, no, no. Hold on. You stop it. You stop it. You stop right now. Okay. So anyway, we're back. <laughs> I am a one man show over here. I'm actually doing this with no help. So you got to bear with me. So anyway, so that was the first PSA. That was from uh, uh, the U.S. Surgeon General. They actually sent us another one. If you're watching on Facebook, they sent one. And this one is actually for kids, for children. Yes, but they didn't specifically talk about you know, the whole virus, because, you know, kids get scared, you know, when they think, nah, nah, nah. so the other one that they sent me, and I don't know where it is, but this one basically is about hand washing and about how to wash your hands and so forth, so, you know, check this one out right here on Philly Funk Radio. Wash, washy, wash, washy, wash, wash your hands. Taking care of yourself is also taking care of others. We are all in this together. So yeah, that was that was the other one. That was the one that uh, you know, obviously with the Sesame Street characters. So the m- most interesting one that they sent me that I'm going to play for you momentarily is the one that I got featuring the first lady. Yep, they sent me one actually featuring Melania Trump, and I'm going to play that one for you momentarily right here on Philly Funk Radio. But if you want, you can hit us up right now. Today, I want to speak with you about coronavirus and a few practical ways your family can stay healthy. First, hand washing is essential. Children should wash their hands after coming in from outside, before eating, after coughing, sneezing, or blowing their little noses. Second, limit all crowds and explain that no one is shaking hands or hugging because that is how germs can spread. While changes need to be made now, I encourage parents to let children know this will not last forever. I urge you to stay connected to family and loved ones, stay safe, and remember, while many of us are apart, we are all in this together. Please be sure to follow CDC guidelines, which can be found at coronavirus.gov, along with other information and resources. All right. All right. All right. So that those were three of the PSAs that they sent me. Um, sorry for the technical difficulties. I have to actually, because of the way that the software is set up, for some reason it keeps giving error messages, so I have to fix that. But those were the, so you'll be seeing those actually on um, the YouTube page, on the Philly Funk Radio YouTube page, uh, which could be reached. All you have to do is go to, Facebook and YouTube look up WPMR DB and you can find us well the Facebook page I'm using is mine or you could actually go to the Philly Funk Radio Facebook page which is obviously Philly Funk Radio but the YouTube page is WPMR so last but not least after we um, let me get that out the way Uh, so those were the PSAs. That was the little uh, COVID-19 update that we gave with the statistics. So I'm going to wrap this up. 
but we have a video that I'm going to play from an artist that we are playing on Philly Funk Radio. And anyone who listens to Philly Funk Radio knows this artist and knows this song. So we're actually going to play the video. Um, bear with me again. I'm trying to switch back and forth. Hold up. No, 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 no. Okay. That was weird. Okay, that just popped right in, huh? See what happens when you got to do everything yourself? So Anyway, this artist is uh, Never Sleep Boy. That's actually the name of the artist. And he has a song out called Let's Feel the Night. It's actually um, burning up the charts out there in Canada. Uh, of course, over here in the United States. Uh, Paris, uh, France, Paris, Germany. You know, a couple of other different places. And um, we're pleased to be playing the song right here on Philly Funk Radio. Let me get rid of this box over here because it's very annoying. So I'm going to wrap up, but I'm going to bring to you this video real quick right here. Again, this is Never Sleep Boy and his song, Let's Feel a Night, right here on Philly Funk Radio, broadcasting live and local from the beautiful city of Philadelphia. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight. We feel alright, baby, tonight 
That was the artist Never Sleep Boy Well let's feel the night And we'd like to give special shout outs To Mark Who's actually listening Right now on phillyfunkradio.com So if you would like to Find out more About Never Sleep Boy um, You can look him up on Facebook Instagram and Twitter And you could also buy his music and if you go to his Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter page, Never Sleep Boy, you can also purchase his music. So, anyway, this is a this was a short, short segment today. Usually, we would have Mr. Van Stone joining us on the phone, but he is actually busy doing work in the community. I did speak to him right before I went on the air, and he's actually out and about doing some essential services, helping some people out, dropping things off, some supplies, and so forth. So he wasn't able to join us today, but hopefully he will be on tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, we're going to try to have a uh, talk live with Van Stone show, speaking of him, tomorrow evening, right here on Philly Funk Radio. So stay tuned to social media for that, um, to see exactly what time that will be so it will hopefully be around 6 30 tomorrow night uh but like i said keep tuned to social media for the actual time so anyway i'm gonna get out of here it's been fun everybody and i will see you tomorrow right here on philly funk radio remember if you would like to get in contact with me or the station philly funk radio facebook instagram and twitter is the best way and remember philly funk radio does have the youtube page if you look up w p m r and also you can watch our videos through our partner page from mr van stone and power wvsr you can look that up on youtube as well so anyway everybody thank you for joining me have a good day Remember, social distancing. Stay six feet. Wash your hands. Wash your butt. Wash everything you can wash. Wash your clothes. Just, you know, just do everything to stay safe and not get sick. So, you've been checking me out right here on Philly Funk Radio. Broadcasting live and local from the beautiful city of Philadelphia. Philadelphia.